My name is Riley Lorgas, and I'm a senior, and I'm in scientific research. Over the past few weeks, my scientific research class has been doing a lot of learning about COVID-19. One of my favorite activities that we have done so far was watching a lecture from MassGen, and that lec lecture covered a lot of basic stuff about the virus. It went over its virus biology, it talked about how the virus can be spread and how it spread from where it originated to becoming a worldwide pandemic. And it also talked about mitigation efforts that were happening internationally and what you could do at home to help flatten the curve. And it also discussed current studies, which were obviously all very preliminary. It discussed current studies in different things of what's happening with COVID treatments and such. And my research experience has been proven really beneficial to me while reading about COVID because I can obviously understand the biology of the virus and I can also understand um, some of the methods and the discussion that these papers present. And I can understand the further implications and what's next down the road from this study because they're all right now they're all very preliminary because everyone's like just trying to do as much research as fast as they can and i think that one of the most important things during this crazy time that we're living in is to actually understand the virus and debunk some of the myths like for example you can be asymptomatic but if you're asymptomatic you still have covid and you can still pass it on and I think that un tr understanding what COVID is and all of its symptoms and like the implications is really important because that helps get rid of some of the fear that you have. Like it helps you understand why you need to be self idling, isolating your fast, why you need to be at least six feet, but preferably more away from people at all times. It takes away some of that like fear and unknowing and it makes you feel like, oh, I'm part of this and I can be like on the front lines too and I can do my part to flatten the curve. And if I could just share some information, I would just like to debunk some myths about COVID treatments going out. Like it's obviously not worth it to shove a hair dryer up your nose to like burn out the virus, like that's not gonna work. And there, have, there are no current COVID treatments happening. So it's all very basic, it's still all basic, and we don't know a lot, so what's happening in the government and what politicians are telling you, that's not necessarily all proven, but I also like to mix it in with some good news. Like for example, right here in Chester County, where Westtown is located, uh, it was the first instance in the United States where a woman donated blood, she had already had antibodies because she had got she had had COVID and she got over it and she donated her plasma and then that was donated to two people currently suffering from COVID and it actually saved their lives. So I like to talk about debunking some myths and I also like to like infuse a little positive information into what is such a negative time. And even though my research class got can't effectively canceled this year and we're doing something totally different from what we were doing in the lab there are a lot of silver linings the biggest one being that it just instilled to me a big passion for science and a passion for research that I will continue on for the rest of my career like I'm so eager to do research in college and I'm so eager to continue research in both medical school and beyond thank you